would come back. His hair will not get straight. Well, that's as straight as it's going to get. Hey, BookTube! Welcome to the start of another reading vlog. I haven't posted one of these in such a long time. The last time I posted a reading vlog was pre Hunger Games prequel. So yeah, a very, very long time. I've just been feeling really unmotivated when it comes to reading. I want to pick up a book, but I just think it's so inconsequential when you think of all of the important stuff that is happening in this world right now and in regards to the Black Lives Matter movement. I think I am at a place where I can begin reading again. Last month I read 13 books, and while I could just not read this entire month and my reading challenge would still be satisfied, I just want to start reading again and so today I am doing the read a book in one sitting challenge. Pretty self-explanatory. Pick a place to read. For me, it's either going to be this bed or this chair that I'm in right now. And then just read a book. I want to. I used to do that like all the time, especially with the Harry Potter books. But we don't talk about Harry. Potter. So today I'm reading a more chill book for me to read. If you do not know, Bookish and the Beast is out August 4th and I do want to read the first two books of the series before it comes out. Even though I, I know you don't technically have to, I still want to to just experience them the way most people have. And so today I chose Geekerella. I'm technically 24 pages into it, but does that really count? I don't think so, okay? It's still more than 200 or so, 250 or so pages that I have to get through. So basically, you can get out of where you're sitting if you need to, like, go to the bathroom or eat or something like that. But other than that, you have to read in one sitting. And so, I'm going to be watching YouTube. Alright, so it's currently 12.25 and I'm ready to start Cinderella by Ashley Poston. We are going to try to read an entire book in one sitting. Whew. I don't know if we can do this. One thing that could definitely help me is if I like this book and if it is fast paced and if I'm just really interested to see what happens next then I could really get going with this book and bang it out. But if it's like a slow read and it's not very interesting I can't switch. I'm going to have to read the book in a sitting either way. I really hope that this book is read in one sitting worthy. Now that I think about it, I definitely should have picked a way shorter book, like a 100 page book instead of a 300 page book, which also isn't even that long, but still, 100 pages would be way, way easier. I forgot to mention that this video will also be spoiler free for Geekerella, and if I do go into spoilers, if I really want to talk about something, I will tell you guys before I do that, so that you guys are not spoiled for this book. When you left, you said that I don't deserve you, but I actually screw the chair. Oh, you're the one that I need. Alright, so it's currently 1.25, so it's been almost an hour, and I've read 60 pages. That's normally how I go. I normally just read, like, one page a minute, because I'm slow like that. Part of the deal is you cannot check electronics, so I just failed by checking the time. But that's all I did. That's all I did. I only check the time but i'm reading i was saying before that if i like it and that i'm interested in it everything will be just so so much easier and i am i'm enjoying this story it's just interesting i'm loving all of the characters i'm loving how we already are seeing marians and elves interactions and how that is being played of the fandom aspects and i just love the character development in this book already the writing style is also great and i'm just really enjoying this book so far I am 157 pages into Geekerella, which is basically where I predicted I would be. But, like, this story is good. Like, really, really, really good. And I'm so excited that I'm reading it for this challenge. Like, I am just really enjoying where this story is going and how just real and authentic these characters and the conversations they're having are. And I'm also just loving this universe that the author has created. I'm just loving this book so, so much right now. And I just don't want it to end. So yeah, I'm going to go eat now. And then I'm going to go back to reading Geekerella. This is what happens when I read. I mess up my hair so, so much. But as you just saw, I am now at part three. The final part, I think so, of Geekerella. And it just got... Cool. I'm always so interested with the retelling of how they're going to change the story with Cinder. They're changing it to sci-fi. Here was contemporary. And I'm always just interested to see 
how they do it. I've never really seen it done wrong. I've never really come to terms with it. There's not one retelling of a fairy tale or a classic story that I hate. I love Land of Story. I love Cinder. I'm loving Geekarella. Like, I think it's going to be an all-time favorite. Seeing how they adapt the story, how they adapt the tropes, and how they make the characters different. I just think it's just so, so fascinating. And the story is just hitting every single mark for me. And now, it just got good. Part 2 left off on a cliffhanger. I don't know why I'm talking to you guys right now. I should be reading because I'm just so excited to learn what happens next. I also have a little more than 100 pages left. So I should be able to bang this out in another two hours. So it's currently 4.26 and I just finished the Gorilla. Oh my god guys, this was everything. I did not expect this book to be as much of a hit as it was, but it was just so beautiful. The were just so amazing. The adaptation of the Cinderella story was just brilliant and I just loved the story so, so much. I loved the interactions, I loved the universe, and I loved all the side characters as well. And I just loved everything about this story, and I just want to reread it and reread it over and over again. An all time favorite, best of the best, in the leagues of looking for Alaska. Guys, it was just so, so good. Ooh, that was an emotional ride right there. Yeah, that is the read a book in one sitting challenge. It was successful in all senses of the word. If you are still here, that means you like something about this video, or at least you learned something. I don't know how well I did with vlogging in this. I had a lot of fun reading, and I discovered a new all-time favorite. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on Geekarella, or some of your experiences with reading a book in one sitting. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So subscribe to get the videos when I post them, and I will see you next time with another video. I've now read two all-time favorites consecutively. First, Map of Days, which was so good. And now Geekarella, which was brilliant. Let's continue, hopefully. But the next book I'm reading is a 1,300-page mega book. Reading vlog comment.